like the sun finally broke out today. Let's check in with Sean for our full forecast. Yeah, June for sure. You're going to get the rhyme. I'm not going to say it because I like the fog. So there it is. A lot of haze off in the background. So the marine layer definitely in play. Santa Barbara, of course, uh, the, the north wind. We have that going for us. So that helps to kind of give us that late clearing. Other beaches, though, I would suspect, uh, down in Ventura County and along the central coast, uh, probably spotty clearing at best. Humidity still very high. Wind off the ocean, just enough out of the west, northwest. And a wind advisory back in play again. Might see this coming back at least the next couple of nights, uh, usually the overnights. And we have also the potential for sundowner sort of enhanced northerly winds. And that's when the mountaintops cool off. The lower areas stay a little warmer. And that creates a little wind machine as the cool air sinks above. It runs downhill. And that's how you get your sundowner effect. And also, of course, uh, couple that with the, with the uh, north northerly flow already and you can get sort of um, double barreled winds there. Santa Barbara today 71 uh, 73 for Ojai and 77 for Santa Ynez and as we look at Paso Robles that was one of the warm spots 85 might get a triple digit in that seven day forecast for now so enjoy those mid 80s you might be going solidly into the 90s maybe even knocking on that 100 degree door in just a few days 60s right now along the central coast gaviota is definitely the warmer spot so that shows us we are getting some light winds out of the north northwest in fact some gusts i checked and some of the mountains are going up over 30 and then of course you can also see the wind areas out toward uh, san miguel santa rosa island and uh, that's always a, a bellwether of uh, where you're going to get those winds if they start to kick up out there, then we can expect them to hit right along the Point Conception area. A lot of humidity at the lower levels, and that won't change anytime soon, even though some areas inland are starting to dry out just a little bit. Right now, we are uh, under what we call a zonal flow, so we're getting very average, very normal June-like conditions, and it's June, so I won't say like, I guess we'll just call it very normal. Uh, Pacific storms continue to run into the northern areas, and a lot of good rain is actually falling in Washington, Oregon, and down into extreme northern Northern California. So this is all excellent news. Um, you know, the drought is so widespread across the West. It's sound like a broken record talking about it, but at least somebody is getting something. And over the next couple of days, we're going to expect to see the marine layer start to thin just a little bit as we get more of the um, uh, we, as we get more high pressure building into the region. That will create more northerly flow. That will help to kind of gouge it out. So you can see by Wednesday, not much to talk about as far as fog. It will likely stay for the beaches, but it will also uh, but not probably uh, likely much farther than the immediate coastline, and that means it'll start to warm up, especially inland. So tomorrow, expect more marine layer out there, a little thin along the Gaviota Coast, and then as we head toward the afternoon, it looks a lot like what we saw today, just uh, spotty clearing south of Point Conception and to the north, fog lingering a little bit more thicker, especially uh, all the way through the day, actually. And by tomorrow night, look at that, the marine layer not quite coming back, so once we get to Monday, I should say, night, that's when we'll start to expect to see less of the the fog and more clear skies. Uh, as far as wind, well, there it is one more time tomorrow night, and that's actually a little more intense than what it was what I saw last night for right now. So that means we could be seeing wind speeds going up well above 30. So another wind advisory is more than likely expected. Now here come your temperatures, and this is where it gets fun. Tomorrow we expect another quiet day out there, but look at Goleta in Santa Barbara. With that northerly flow, uh, the computer is kind of hinting at possibly seeing some low 80s. Now watch what happens when we hit on, on the Monday, we see that same area, almost a duplicate temperature right there, and everything else staying pretty quiet. So we don't see the big shocks coming probably until Tuesday when inland areas will start to bounce off higher 80s and then possibly 90s. And as I mentioned, by about maybe Thursday or Friday, there could be a triple digit out there. And as far as your temperatures tomorrow, again, uh, possibly in the city areas of uh, maybe Montecito, Santa Barbara, we could possibly get into those 80s, uh, depending on if that marine layer kind of lingers as long as it did today, more than likely we'll stay in the mid to maybe upper 70s. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. Southern Salinas Valley, low 80s right there in the beaches, back into the 60s and 70s around Morro Bay, Pismo Beach. Same thing with Port Wyneme at around 70 degrees. Go up to Ojai, you'll get about an 86. Quick look at the surf. We do have some waves out of the south and some building windswell next week and some bumpy boating conditions. We'll do a couple of our forecast maps and there's the warmth coming by the middle and second half of the work week. Your beaches, not as much, but inland areas will definitely warm up. All areas expecting to go above normal. Beaches, not as much, but once you go inland, though, it will be very, very toasty. And again, some areas will be knocking on maybe some 90s and even triple digits. Tracy? All right, thank you. Coming up, the Gauchos try to stay alive in the college baseball playoffs. Mike Klan has highlights.